Hey guys, so as you can see, I got, I just got off this 2017 Nova Bus LFS. I only took it a few stops from Shepherd Avenue West, the very beginning. Now that 165 bus is operated by Aero Road and it's supplement, no, it's not, it's operated by, uh, yeah, it is that operated by Aero Road. So anyhow, yeah, that bus, that bus route supplement, supplements the 989 because the regular 89 bus goes, only goes as far as Albion Road and the 989 bus goes all the way to Steeles. And this one, 165, runs along Weston Road up towards Steeles, but it's a local route. So basically the, the 89 and the 989 don't make any sense. Cause you know, one ends at Albion Road and the other one goes all the way to Steeles. So anyhow, I'm in the North York Borough and it's a very hot day today. We're in the middle of a heat wave. The temperature right now is 33 degrees centigrade. That's like the hottest it has been this year so far. So because of that, my brain is definitely not working very well. But anyhow, I was, I'm in Ward 7, I believe. But I was just in Ward 1 visiting my old house. And these are the buildings that you could see in my previous video. Like you could see when you're entering the ravine from the entrance where my old house is, you could see these buildings in the distance. So, and this is where I am right now. I actually did do a walking video there, but I ended at Finch. But now I'm in the Hummet, Humber Summit neighborhood and I'm planning to walk towards Steeles. I just have to wait for this light cycle. Oh gosh, 20 seconds, it's so hot. I'm definitely not patient during hot weather. So it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon on, a, on Labor Day Monday. Come on light, please change. All right. There we go. I'm actually gonna go to Ward 1 regularly now, like I used to last year, because I am going back to college and, try, and trying a different, completely different program. And hopefully it works out well, unlike last year. But I'm not gonna disclose what program I'm in Okay, so this here is Weston Road, and I do plan to walk up, you know, there's two like major streets in Humber Summit. There's Weston Road, then there's Fenmar Drive. But in this video, I'm gonna be walking up Fenmar Drive. And I'm feeling very dizzy right now. I actually just stopped at Starbucks to get myself an iced tea lemonade. And it's pretty refreshing, but I'm still feeling dizzy. I find the, the beauty of iced tea is it can quench any thirst whatsoever. Like iced tea is like the only satisfying drink that can quench any thirst. Now I believe this might be the CN rail right here. I believe that's the same line that runs by Wet and Wild. And here comes a plane coming in for a landing. Man, oh man, what a way to end off summer vacation with really hot weather and then we start off the school year with hot weather. I wonder if I can see the airline, but apparently the plane is flying directly over me. I mean, I'm sure I'd be able to see the airline name, but the thing is though, the plane is flying directly on top of me. If it was flying off to the side, I'd probably be able to see it. But, as we know, it's landing at YYZ. Now, Humber Summit is basically start, started off as a pioneer community back in 1840. 
And then it became a community park. Well, sort of in the 20th century. It could turn into some sort of a residential community. I don't know. My, I've been researching, but the thing is, my brain really does not work in the heat. It really doesn't. But, uh, so yeah. Bear with me, guys. I'm doing my best to be professional, but I'm not really good at it. Especially in this heat. Now, the funny thing is, though, back in the olden days, Toronto didn't used to go this far as where I am right now. It used to end around Shepherd. But the thing is, though, Shepherd doesn't go into Etobicoke, so I wonder what Etobicoke was. I guess my old house used to be, was probably like farmland back then. But yeah, a long time ago, the boundaries kept extending and it extended all the way towards Steeles. But this community is middle class, Humber Summit. Oh, that's the street I meant to walk along. I'll probably take the 165 bus back home and I'll come along this way. Although it'll be it'll be quite a walk to get to Weston from Fenmar and Steeles. Funny thing is though, hot weather actually encourages me to go out. Like rather than stopping me from going out, it actually encourages me to go out. Because I like to feel that we're living in a warmer climate. Because it makes us feel like a warm climate, but obviously it isn't because Toronto still gets cold in the winter. So now we'll merge onto... Wait a second, is there... Are there sidewalks there? Oh yes, there are. There are sidewalks. So I'm afraid there won't be much talking in this video because my mouth is really drying up. And anytime it dries up, talking is just not pleasant. So that looks like some water pipe. So I suspect they're probably doing some construction. That's probably a water pipe that they're running along here. They need it for construction. Well, for their construction work, obviously. Yeah, because this is, this here is like, looks, this looks a little bit like a landfill, but it's probably a construction, well, it's not, maybe not a construction site, but it's definitely an industrial site. And they're running the pipe underground. And a pipe comes out from underground. So this here is an industrial neighborhood. There's no residents around here. Okay, and it smells like garbage as well. Well, I mean, it's an industrial area. What can you expect? And we're now we're losing sidewalk. Yep. Unfortunately, that's what happens. You lose sidewalk. I think the same thing happens on Arrow Road. Although only one side of the street will lose its sidewalk, but here it's now both sides. So now I have to walk at the very, very edge of the street of the roadway.
Wow, it sounds like the birds are out having fun. Okay, let's, okay, I see some sidewalk right here. So let's go to the other side. I think this is as fast as I'm gonna walk. Whoa, there's a big puddle there, okay. We'll have to walk around the puddle. And because the sun is so bright, I can't see the screen very well. But I have to keep an, an eye on the screen so that I make sure that I'm not filming the ground most of the time. Because sometimes I angle my camera a little too low that the ground just takes, off, takes up three quarters of the screen. Shouldn't be that long of a walk anyways. Oh, that car is coming out. Okay, we can make it quick. Actually, we're not gonna make it quick. That, that car is actually going back in. Well, it's probably gonna come out, but he's probably, he or she's probably doing some backing in and out. So yeah, it doesn't concern us. Apostolic Church? Never even heard of it before. I mean, I know there was like Baptist, Anglican, Presbyterian. I've never heard of apostolic. It's here is street for commercial activity, a lot of middle class. But yeah, it's a commercial activity, that's why it's so industrial. And I see a plane up in the sky. Oh, I can't really see the airline. Oh, you know what? It's Air Canada. I could just see the maple leaf on the tail wing for a quick second. So that was an Air Canada airplane that I just saw. Whoa, water's... Look at that. That's Water's coming, just racing down the sidewalk. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. There's a sprinkler or is there a gap or is there a is there a leak is there a water main leak or is that a just a sprinkler looks like a sprinkler to me oh look at that i don't know if you guys can see it but it actually makes a you can see a rainbow there when the sun shines right through the water or the spraying water that you see it becomes a rainbow. Yeah. And, ooh, the water's pretty cold. Need something to cool me down on a hot day. That's probably just a sprinkler, but it does look like a bursted pipe as well. It's either a sprinkler or a bursted pipe. huge glass bottle. I've never seen a glass bottle that big before. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, it looks like a mega urn. 
but yeah, either way, I've never seen something that big before. But yeah, I gotta keep, I gotta watch my eyes while, while walking here because there's flying dust everywhere and it's very bad when dust gets in your eyes. a traffic light over there so I wonder if that's steel that we're approaching and as of yesterday I covered every I covered like Steeles Avenue at least between McCowan Road and Islington Avenue so I've walked along and maybe rode the bus along Steeles Avenue but I haven't been anywhere on Steeles Avenue East, like east of McCowan Road. But Steeles is a very important street because it leads you out of the city. Okay, I see another airplane there. That's okay, I think that's, that might be, I can't see it very well. That could be either Air Transat or there, that could be WestJet. But, I, but it looks more like Air Transat. see a bus route over there. I wonder what it, what it is. We'll come closer to the pole and see what route stops here. It's route number 36. Okay, but 36 doesn't normally come here. And also the, the number sign is white instead of red. That usually means it's a special route. Or it's a special stop. Yeah, it's the traffic lights, so that better be Steeles Avenue because I'm really getting I'm really getting tired and I'm getting thirsty again. Luckily, I'm gonna go straight home after this video. I think it's like too hot to do anything else. Although I don't think it is steels. Oh, there's a seagull there. Yeah, I can't, does, now it smells a little bit like garbage. You just can't escape that smell. You, you just can't. And unfortunately the Thistletown neighborhood smells like garbage as well. Every time I go there, it always smells like garbage. So the air is not very clean. And it's, 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 uh, kind of, it's disappointing and heartbreaking because 
I like that neighborhood. It's there's a lot of nostalgia there. Nope, that's not Steels. I knew it was too good to be true. Well, I still get the right of way. Gosh, I can't even see the screen all because of the sun. It's very hard to look at your phone when it's really sunny outside. You know, you really have to like use your hands to cast a shadow just so that you can look at your phone. It's not very comfortable, but either you go to a shade or you have to create the, a shade with your hand. Okay, well, I'd like to wish you all a happy Labor Day. I know it's too early for me to end to make a closing. Yeah, that's a helicopter up there. But I'd like to wish everyone a happy Labor Day and enjoy your school year as the kids are about to head back to school. And college students, good luck with your semester. It's not gonna be easy, but you know, tomorrow, regular day. I feel like we're not going to hit Steeles Avenue West anytime soon because the street is longer than I thought. And another problem I have is I have to be able to make sure I catch the bus without having to wait a ridiculously long time for another one because I really, really don't want to wait 20 minutes in the heat for a bus. Because I feel like every time I look up the bus schedule, I'm never in luck. It'll, like, it'll, it'll say 37 minutes. You know, you look up the bus schedule and it's always like 37 minutes. It never comes when you really want it to. I mean, I actually got lucky today. I was, like, when I went from Shepherd, when I went from Starbucks towards making, the, making this video, I looked up the bus schedule and it said two minutes, so I was in luck. But we'll see what happens. But I better get home before I get heat stroke. Okay, that might be steels coming up in the distance, which is some light at the end of the tunnel. Look at that. At least I like the front of the front design of this building. It looks really modern. I mean, but only the front of the building looks modern. The rest is made of bricks. Okay, I was wondering what's down there, but it's nothing really interesting.
Well, I guess I can walk around this danger sign. Doesn't, it's not really interfering with anything. Yep, I'm st unfortunately I'm still not there yet. I feel like I never will get there. Or maybe I will. I mean, I do see some, I do see a street there in the distance. So that's, I guess that's a good sign. But I say that all the time and it becomes biasing. Okay, that's it. That is steels. I can actually tell. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna explain how though because my mouth is too dry. But you know, I could just tell. Wow, look how many Canadian flags there are. We got six Canadian flags there, consecutive to each other. And I can see a Nova bus turning right here. It's not in service. It's actually a Nova hybrid bus. But yeah, it's not on any. It's not running on any route because it's not as non-service. But yeah, that's a Nova bus LFS HEV that I just saw. Right. So here I am. Just have to find a bus stop somewhere. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more videos. And yeah, check out other videos as well. And there I am, business improvement area. All right. Okay, I, I was gonna say I recognize the song, but apparently I don't. All right, bye-bye everyone.